Welcome back to Leaks. What I plan on doing with Leaks leading up to the new packs, that's right, packs, plural. There's two selection packs coming. I'm gonna be doing another big meta relevant leak next week, but before then and even after that week, I'm gonna be trying to leak almost daily on YouTube. So look out for that. And you already know that all of my leaks have been coming true. All these leaks were before they came out. Let's get started. This is meta relevant. This is topped a lot of YCSs. Let me get through the whole thing and you'll know what's going on, okay? So let's do this. Three, two, one. There can only be one winner. And you're looking at it. Let's go. Boom. Core of Chaos. What is this? Cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summoned by card effect. If this face up card would leave the field, banish it instead. You can only use each effect of the following effects of Core of Chaos once per turn. You could banish a dark monster from your hand or graveyard. That's the activation. And then it special summons from your hand and you are locked in a light and dark synchro monsters after summoning this. If this card is special summoned, you could target one of your banish Shell of Chaos and special summon it. So Shell of Chaos, if special summoned, banish a dark from hand or graveyard to summon. Let's see what that means. Shell of Chaos. Same thing as the Core of Chaos, but to summon it, you banish a light monster instead of a dark. You summon this, and then on summon, you could target a Banish Core of Chaos and special summon it. So we've got Core and Shell working together. And then we have Chaos Witch. You could tribute this card, special summon two Dark Beast tokens, and then, you know, it's in the graveyard. So you normal summon it, tribute it, summon two tokens. If this card is banished from the hand or graveyard, you could then summon two light tokens. And you can only use one effect and only once that turn. So if you tribute her and then you banish her, you're not gonna have four tokens on the field. So you choose, you want the dark tokens or the light tokens, and they're both level two. And they're both tuners. Wait, actually the light tokens are tuners. The dark are not tuners. So two level two fairy tuner light monsters. Interesting. And then we have Chaos Mirage Dragon. Target a banish, or light, banish light or dark monster, which the core and the shell should be banishing the light and dark for you. Special summon it to your field, but negate its effects. Also for the rest of the turn, you cannot summon except for light or dark synchros from your extra. So this would be a normal summon, it looks like. You normal summon, then you target a banish, then you put it back on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard for a synchro material, you could use, you could target cards your opponent controls up to the number of monsters used for the synchro and banish them. Okay, so we got some, uh, uh, you know, deal with the field, banish the field. Now, what are we summoning? Chaos Beast, level six synchro. If any card has been banished this turn, you gain 1,000 attack, so 3,000 attack. You can only use each of the following effects once per turn. You target one of your banished light or dark monsters, add it to your hand, okay? During your main phase, except the turn this was sent to the graveyard, you could banish a light and dark from your hand and or graveyard, special summon this back on the field. So got some good recursion. How about we go up again? Level eight, Chaos Archfiend. This states that if any card has been banished this turn, gained 2,000 attack, so it's 4,000 attack, while the other one was 3,000. This card can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each, also banish any monster destroyed by battle with this card specifically. 4,000 attack, banish the whole field. That's quite nutty. If this card leaves the field due to an opponent's card, you could special summon a Chaos Synchro from your extra deck, except Chaos Archfiend. What is a good Chaos Synchro from your extra deck? Except Chaos Archfiend. Huh. Let's see. Chaos Angel. <laughs> this card is nuts. It is so good. Oh my God. One tuner plus one or more non-tuner lighter dark monsters. 
but you don't need the tuner. The tuner is optional. Some people refer to this as a Link 2. Link 2. If the, for this card, Synchro Summon, you could treat a lighter dark as a tuner. So if you have a dark monster plus a dark monster and they equal level 10, that's it. You, you don't need a tuner. No tuner needed, light or dark. On special summon, this is not even synchro summon. On special summon, you could target one card on the field, banish it. Also, this card gains these effects based on the original attributes used for the synchro summon. If at least one of the monsters you use to summon this is light, all of your synchro monsters, including this, are unaffected by monster effects activated by your opponent. What the heck? How do you out this? It's very difficult to out. Now, I mean, it's unaffected by monster effects, so, you know, impermanence would be a good way to out it. Now we have dark. If you used a dark monster for the synchro summon, all monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. It's also 3,500 attack. It's huge. It banishes on summon. It makes all your synchros unaffected by monster effects. Activated monster effects. It's important because Mirror Jade activates if sent to the grave, but during the end phase, it's a lingering effect, so it would destroy it. Dark will make it indestructible. Now, for example, a deck, I'm going to show you tournament topping decks that use this. This is how about you play some Labyrinth? Lab combo. Look at this. The Labyrinth monsters are level eight, and the Torby's level two. And the Torby special summons onto the field if a monster leaves the field by a trap effect. So Torby on the field plus your lovely or lady, that will summon your Chaos Angel. And because this activates on special summon to banish a card in the field, you have the Labyrinth Labyrinth. The Labyrinth field spell can continually resummon the Chaos Angel to banish a card in the field. That is absolutely nuts. Now, let me show you some deck lists. Labyrinth, top 32, world champ qualifier, but there, I mean, there's so many different deck lists. This is just one of them using three Chaos Angel because it's easily summonable. So that's very good. Chaos Angel continually be resummoned in this deck. Any deck with light and or dark monsters in your deck, and it doesn't have to be tuners, and you could summon this. So here's another example of a top deck that has used this. A Dragon Link deck, top eight world champ qualifier, and you are playing Chaos Angel in this deck. So a good filter that you could do is you could do dark, light, maybe, you know, even main deck, and uh, you could look at these. So a Bestial plus a level four, light or dark, is going to make the Chaos Angel. A Lubellion plus a level two, Chaos Angel. Uh, level four, this is, there you go. A sh normal summon Sharon and Magna Hut. You have Chaos Angel, banish a card in the field. Merly plus the Lubellion, banish a card in the field. Uh, you know, Lubellion and Jet. Bistial plus a level four Albaz, that's something. Level six, uh, Bistial with the level four. And I think you got the idea of what's good with this. So anything that equals level 10, and it doesn't have to be a tuner, and you're good. That is great. So... Let's go. This is huge. This is going to have a big impact. Unaffected from activated monster effects. It reminds me of Borland Dragon in a way because you could use impermanence on Borland, but otherwise it's pretty hard to deal with that card. And I'm expecting for this to have a meta impact. And that is going to be the end of the leak for this video. And if you want to see more leaks, I will be leaking more on twitch.tv slash decade. The next week leak is going to be meta relevant, big meta impact, just as I feel this is going to have one. And also, I'm going to be trying to be leaking almost daily on YouTube for other meta impactful and or non meta impactful leaks, because I got two selection packs. I got to get them ready. And I do think I'm going to be streaming this Saturday and Sunday for the World Championship of Master Duel. We're going to do a watch party. So if you want to watch with me, we could also watch the Duel Links Worlds, TCG Worlds, Master Duel Worlds all the worlds together and see what's going on. So I'm going to be getting ready for that and it's going to be a good time. So thank you very much. We are out. I love you all. Let's go.